Hey guys, this is the second video I'm making in the Gratefulness Challenge. Um, last week, Billy and Eliana and I made a video challenging all of our viewers to join us in this September of thinking of something you're grateful for every day. And you don't necessarily have to make a video or share it on social media or even write it down in a journal, which would be a good idea as well. You could just say it to yourself, um, say it in a prayer to God. Just be more mindful every day of what you're grateful for. Um, the way I've chosen to do it is on the social media I normally share every day what I'm grateful for. Um, like I said, this is the second video. I may start incorporating more videos, but I thought that for today I will indeed um, say what I'm grateful for on camera here. And I'll read some of what I've shared previously on social media. Um, the places I've been sharing it is like the pages, Natural Lifestyle Show page, the group, my personal page, and also on the Google Plus I share it as well. Um, so if you want to check it out and see what I'm grateful for, and I'd love to see what you guys are grateful for. I'm enjoying reading um, what you're grateful for and watching video of what you're grateful for. And I hope that you know more people jump on this um gratefulness journey this month it's never too late to start you know gratefulness is a good habit anytime so you know even if it's late in the month join us we would love to have you join us and um so today let's see today what i'm grateful for um, i'm grateful for so many things like like i'm sure we all are um two things that i was thinking today that kind of resonated with me um is one i'm thankful for people um I'm kind of like an introverted, shy person by nature, but of course I still love people. I mean, people are such a gift. How lonely would this world be if we didn't have our fellow human beings here? And if you think about it, none of us are really that different. I mean, at all. Um, you know, I, I believe, you know, even like um, with the separation of so-called races, a lot of people say, well, I, only, I believe in one race, the human race, and of course, there's different people, groups, and things like that. And um, But even like when you meet a stranger or whatever, there's so many elements in your life and their life that are so similar that, you know, it, it's kind of like I heard one time something like about a golden thread that connects all of us together. Um, and it's true, you know, we're all really coming from the same place. We're all human beings. We have the same emotions and things like that. And it's just lovely to share with each other. I mean, things are so much more fun when you can share an experience with someone or tell them about something or just, just sit quietly with them. And so I'm grateful for people today. And also I realized that I'm very grateful for energy. I have had um, some pretty, uh, I don't really want to say bad, but some pretty strong fatigue, at, you know, in my life. And that makes me so, so grateful for having energy. And so I really am really thankful for that today. I mean, with energy, I'm able to do the things that I need to do and that I want to do um, for, for my family, um, first and foremost. And, um, you know, I have in my life, I have God first, then my family, and then, you know, me and other things. That's kind of my, um, the tier. But, of course, you do have to keep yourself um, taken care of as well because if you don't take care of yourself you can't really take care of anybody else so that's one reason why we like to share this natural lifestyle um, tips and things with other people and learn from other people because it is very important to do that um, I'll share with you some things that I've written on the social media I have, have it up here so I can share with you okay on September the 3rd I wrote this it's late, but here's my grateful post for today. I'm grateful that I know not to take things for granted. I'm by no means perfect in this regard. That being said, knowing that everything and everyone is my, in my life is a gift placed there by the grace of God certainly is humbling to me, and it changes the way I perceive events, people, and people's actions and perceived intentions. I say perceived because many times we may misunderstand true intentions, and therefore, especially with those close to us, I think it is good to assume the best always. That is a lesson in itself. And that's true. Um, let's see what else. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
Then I wrote, um, I'm grateful for my youngest child, Eliana. Her name is a Hebrew name literally translated, my God has answered me. She is such a wonderful little girl and we love her so much. She is so sweet and such a joy. She is really fun too and has a really good sense of humor. She tries so hard and takes such delight in each little accomplishment. We are immensely blessed to have her in our lives. I'm not sure words can convey what she means to us. So tonight I'm so grateful to God for placing Eliana in our lives and that she is safe. And then I wrote, today I'm grateful that God sees me, loves me, and hears my prayers. And then I wrote, I'm grateful for this gratefulness challenge. It is allowing me to realize more of my blessings. If you haven't started yet, join along and post what you are grateful for every day you can in the month of September. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm so glad. My older daughter has been, um, you know, talking to me for a while about writing down things I'm grateful for every day. And um, it, it really is a, a, a good thing to do, and I'm glad to be doing it. Um, yeah, if we really need to be grateful for things because everything in our life is a gift. And, you know, we just don't know what's going to happen in life and how long um, people are going to be allowed to be in your life. So it's very important to treasure them every day and to treasure everything about your life every day, even if you're not, we all have dreams, I have dreams of, you know, things that I would like to see happen in my life, but I have to realize and be grateful for where I am right now today and uh, be very appreciative of where I am right now today. And if y'all stop and think about it too, I can see where, you know, even I'm in a better place now in a lot of ways than I was years ago so, I mean, there's a lot to be grateful for. You're grateful for, you know, your progress of where you've come from so far. And also just grateful for every single thing, period. Every single person, every single um, need met in, in life. And just the little bitty, bitty, bitty things. The small things, you know, just the small moments. Because the small moments really are the big moments. Yeah, I really, really believe that. So I hope you join me in this gratefulness challenge. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will try to make more videos of uh, what I'm grateful for. Um, more than I have this past week. And I will continue to do it on my social media, however. So check that out if you want to keep up with what I'm grateful for. And, uh, you know, email me, leave me a message, whatever. Let me know where I can find where, um, where you're leaving your gratefulness um like on the internet, if you're doing it on your profile, on Facebook, or your YouTube channel. If, I ha if you don't think that I know about it, please leave me, leave me a link because I would love to come and read it. And I'm so grateful that you have joined me today. And um, I hope you have a wonderful, a wonderful day, night, whatever it is now where you're watching. And please check out social media below, visit our website, and sign up for our newsletter. We have a group on Facebook called Living the Natural Life. The link is below for that. And um, I will be making another video very soon. And you have a great one. God bless. Bye.